Hi guys, welcome to Novation. I am Shantanu and I welcome you all to a very important session of English grammar on the topic of identifying the parts of speech. So friends, today we are going to uh, understand the most important, uh, eight most important parts of speech and also we are going to practice various types of questions related to parts of speech. So friends, by the end of the video, I am sure you guys will be able to uh, uh, identify various uh, words and what uh, function they play as a part of speech in a sentence. So friends, do watch the video till the end and in between uh, you guys can uh, look at the assignment questions and answer it in the comment section. Uh, okay, so without any further ado, let's start this session. So friends, first of all, we will see uh, what are the eight different types of uh, parts of speech. If you guys are very comfortable with them, then you can fast forward the video to the question session, uh, question section. But if uh, you are not very comfortable and have some doubts, uh, I would highly recommend you to please go ahead and watch them. Uh, uh, they will be very short and precise and with full of examples. Okay, so uh, let's start. So based on use and functions, words are categorized into several types of parts of speech. Okay, so and uh, we will see the definition and example of the eight major part of speech in English grammar and they are noun pronoun, verb, adverb, adjective, conjunction, preposition and interjection. So friends, out of these noun, verb, adverb and adjective, these are very very important and are the favorites of any examiner. Okay, so let's go ahead. First that we will see is nouns. Okay, so noun kya hote hai dosto, inko hindi mein bolte sangya and they refer to words that are used to name a person, a thing, animal, place, idea or an event. So, in sab cheezo ko jo naam dete hain, wo hote hain nouns. Okay, person ho, koi cheez ho, animal ho, place ho, ya idea ho. Chali kuch example dekh lete hain. Akshay Kumar is very versatile. So friends, here, Akshay Kumar is the name of the actor and he, that is a noun. Aage badhte hain. Dogs can be extremely cute. Now, dogs here is a name of the animal. So it is also noun. Or aakhri third example. Birthday party. It's my birthday party. So birthday party represent an event. So ye bhi kya hua? Ek noun hua. Thik hai? I hope samaj mein aayoga. Aage badhte hai. Now pronoun. So pronoun bhoat easy hai friends. Ye kya karte hai? Nouns ko replace karte hai. Their, their function is as a replacement for a noun. Okay. So iske examples kya honge? I, he, uh, it, she, mine, his, hers, etc. Okay. Chali example dekhte hai jaldi se. Uh, first is she just stared at me and when I told her to stop. So it should be she just stared at me when I told her to stop. So she is the pronoun here because uh, she is a replacement for some kind of name maybe. Okay, let's move to the next example. We are number one. So here we, it acts as a pronoun here. And third is they will subscribe to Novation. Okay, so they here represent to all the viewers. So it is also a pronoun. Let's uh, move forward. Now next uh, part of speech is another important one, verb and uh, verb, uh, friends, Hindi mein bolte hai, isko kriya. To ye kya batata hai? It describes an action, experience or expresses a state of being. And what is the state of being? Uh, some words like am, is, was, these are called helping verbs. And they, what they signify is the state of being. That is something is happening. Okay, let's see the examples. The dog ran across the yard. So friend, ran, ye jo ran word hai. Yeh hai action showing verb. Okay. Next, Anthony is throwing the ball. So, in a continuous uh, sentence, throwing is also a verb. And the third is, the bird sings a cheery song every morning. So, sings here act as a verb. Okay. Let's move forward. Now, next is adjective. So, friends, adjectives jo hote hain, ye uh, uh, sangya ke gun ko batate hain. Yani they tell us the uh, qualities of the nouns. So let's see the formal definition. So they describe a noun or a pronoun. Simply agar bola jaye to, ye noun or pronoun ko describe karte hain. Okay. So adjectives can specify the quality as I told you, size and the number of nouns or pronouns. Okay friends, chali example dekh lete hain. The carvings are intricate. So carvings jo kisi patthar pe hain, wo kya hai? Intricate hai. So carvings ko define kar raha hai kaun sa word? Intricate. So intricate is telling us the quality uh, of carving. So it is an adjective. Next is, wow, the donut is huge. 
now the huge word is telling us the quality of donut okay donut is the noun here because it's an eatable thing so huge is the adjective uh, next is it was a long beautiful summer of course summer mein holidays hote hain so long and beautiful are the uh, adjective which are describing the uh, our noun summer chaliye aage badhte hain next is adverb friends i would say this is very very important okay and uh, let's see the definition so just like adjectives adverbs are used to describe words but are different in that adverbs describe adjectives verbs or another adverb uh, friends humne dekha tha adjectives kya karte hain wo noun ya pronoun ko describe karte hain but adverbs kya karte hain they describe adjectives verbs or another adverb theek hai chaliye inke types dekhte hain adverb of manner so this refers to how something happens or how an action is done how kaise koi cheez ho rahi hai koi action kaise ho raha hai ye adverb batata hai example and danced gracefully so yahan pe verb kya hai dance aur verb ko kon explain kar raha hai gracefully so and danced gracefully mein gracefully jo hai wo adverb hua aage badhte hain adverb of time this states when something happens or when it is done so adverb of time batata hai dosto ki kab koi si cheez hui thi when something happens okay so she came yesterday here yesterday is my adverb aage badhte hain adverb of place a place as jaise ki aap samajh gaye honge ye batata hai where the thing has happened okay example of course i looked everywhere here everywhere is telling me that it is a adverb of place because it shows that har jagah maine usko dhoonda everywhere okay now moving forward adverb of degree very important this states the intensity or the degree to which a specific thing happens yani ke koi cheez kitni teevrata se ho rahi hai kitni intensity se ho rahi hai the child is very intelligent now here the word very what does this uh, word very tells us the intensity of his talent so the child is very talented here very is the adverb okay friends i hope this is clear moving forward is uh, next is prepositions friends pre prepositions are also very important uh, a word uh, this should be a uh, a word governing and usually preceding a noun or pronoun so prepositions kya hote hain hamesha kisi noun mostly noun ya pronoun ke pehle hote aate hain theek hai and is expressing a relation to another word or element in the clause so ye kisi clause mein us noun ya pronoun ka kisi ke kisi aur dusre words ke sath relation show karte hain okay and uh, uh, this part of speech basically refers to words that specify location or location in time so they specify any place location or even a location in the time like time duration during okay and examples of preposition are above below throughout outside before uh, let's see the sentences <coughs> mika is hiding under the bed so where is she hiding she is hiding under that means below the bed so it is the word under is showing a preposition moving forward during the game the audience never stopped cheering for their team so during is another as i told you it's also a preposition and uh, the last he drove over the bridge so over is another the word another preposition only okay because it is again showing the location hence it's also a preposition moving forward next is conjunctions these are also very very important friends the conjunction is a part of speech which joins words phrases और क्लॉजेस टुगेदर सो फ्रेंड्स कोई ऐसे वर्ड्स जो फ्रेजेस को या क्लॉजेस को एक साथ जोड़ते हैं क्लॉज क्या होता है फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू नो क्लॉजेज आर द कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ सब्जेक्ट एंड अ वर्ब एंड दे कंप्लीट द मीनिंग यानी कि आप सब्जेक्ट और वर्ब को भी लिख दोगे तो आपको मीनिंग क्लियर होगा बट फ्रेजेस के साथ ऐसा जरूरी नहीं है फ्रेजेस डोंट फॉर्म अ कंप्लीट मीनिंग ओके एंड एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ कंजंक्शन वर्ड्स आर एंड येट बट फॉर नॉर और सो ओके and let's see examples this cup of tea is delicious and very soothing so yahan par and and jo word hai ye kya kaam kar raha hai conjunction ka kaam kar raha hai next he was late for school so he took a shortcut so friends yahan par so jo word hai wo kya kaam kar raha hai as a conjunction aage badhte hain she does not like coffee nor does she like tea so yahan par nor jo word hai ye conjunction ka kaam kar raha hai because it is joining this uh, clause with this one okay so i hope this is clear now the final one is very easy and uh, interesting one interjection so 
तो फ्रेंड्स इंटरजेक्शंस क्या होते हैं ये स्ट्रॉन्ग फीलिंग्स और इमोशंस को शो करते हैं ऐसे वर्ड्स फॉर एग्जांपल अहम आह गॉश ओ ग्रेट हे सो दीज आर द वर्ड्स विच शो सम एक्सक्लेमेशन एक्साइटमेंट और फीलिंग स्ट्रॉन्ग इमोशन ओके लेट्स सी द एग्जाम्पल बिंगो दैट्स द वर्न आई बिन लुकिंग फॉर सो हियर द वर्ड बिंगो इज एन इंटरजेक्शन एंड ये शी इज गोइंग आउट विद अस टू नाइट सो फ्रेंड्स ये भी जो है वर्ड इट इज़ एन इंटरजेक्शन बिकॉज इट इज़ शोइंग अ ग्रेट एंदोजियास्टिक फीलिंग चलिए आगे बढ़ते हैं ओके फ्रेंड्स नाउ द पार्ट विच वी आर वेटिंग फॉर अब हम क्वेश्चन करेंगे फटाफट सो अब हमको क्वेश्चन करना है लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट लेबल द पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच फॉर बोल्ड वर्ड्स सो फ्रेंड्स यहाँ पर जो भी बोल्ड वर्ड है हमको उनका पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच बताना है ओके फ्रेंड्स आई विल रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज पॉज द वीडियो हेयर एंड ट्राई आंसरिंग ऑल दीज नंबर्स बाई योर सेल्फ देन चेक द आंसर्स Okay, so pause it and then resume. Okay, so let's start answering. So when Mary Lennox, so friend Mary is a name, so this must be a noun. I hope this is clear. Was sent to Mrs. Wait was. Now friend was is a helping verb. So it is a helping verb. Okay, and sent. This is again a verb. Which kind of verb? It is an action verb. Must wait, man, or to live with her uncle. Everybody. So friends, with kya hai? With. So friends, with is a preposition. Preposition. Okay. And uh, why it is a preposition? Because as I told you, preposition shows the relationship between a pronoun or a noun. विथ अनदर वर्ड एंड इट्स यूजली प्रिसीड्स अ प्रोनाउन और नाउन सो यहाँ पर प्रोनाउन हर हर है और उसके पहले क्या आएगा विथ एंड इट इज शोइंग हर रिलेशनशिप विथ लिव सो विथ इज अ प्रपोजिशन आई होप इट मेक्स सेंस लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड फिफ्थ इज सेड एवरीबडी सेड नो फ्रेंड्स सेड इज अ सेड यानी कि आप कुछ काम कर रहे हो सेंग इज अ इज अ एक्शन सो इट इज ऑल्सो अ वर्क So fifth is an action verb. Was the most disagreeable looking child ever? Now friend, most क्या बता रहा है? Degree बता रहा है. It is telling how intense the feeling is. So my sixth is a adverb. Adverb of intensity. Friends, आपको category categorization याद रखने की जरूरत नहीं है. आपको बस ये पता होना चाहिए कि क्या है वो कौन सा part of speech है. तो most क्या है? Most is an adverb. Uh, it was true too. Okay. एंड शी हैड अ लिटिल थिन फेस नाउ शी क्या बता रहा है दोस्तों शी बता रहा है कि इट इज़ अ प्रोनाउन बिकॉज शी किस को पॉइंट कर रहा है मैरी को एंड इट इज़ नॉट एक्चुअली पॉइंटिंग टू द नेम इट इज़ नॉट टेलिंग द नेम द नेम हैज़ बीन रिप्लेस बाय अ वर्ड शी सो इट इज़ अ प्रोनाउन आई होप इट इज़ मेकिंग सेंस नेक्स्ट शी हैड अ लिटिल थिन फेस एंड अ लिटिल थिन बॉडी सो फ्रेंड्स यहाँ पर एंड क्या शो कर रहा है Here the end is showing a conjunction because why? Because it is linking two words. Conjunct. Okay, I'm not writing full. Uh, you can understand. Uh, the it is linking these two clauses. She had a little thin face and a little thin body. So here, when a word is linking or joining two words, it is it is called conjunction. Okay. So and is a conjunction. Uh, next and a sore ex sore expression. फ्रेंड एक्सप्रेशन कैसा है उसका सौर एक्सप्रेशन सो इट इज टेलिंग द क्वालिटी हेंस माय नाइन्थ सौर इज अ एडजेक्टिव ओके नाउ टेंथ हर हेयर वॉज अगेन हर इज इट हैज बीन रिप्लेस्ड द नेम हैज बीन रिप्लेस्ड बाय दिस वर्ड सो टेंथ शुड बी व्हाट इट शुड बी अ प्रोनाउन आई होप इट इज मेकिंग सेंस हर हेयर वॉज येलो अ फ्रेंड्स हेयर की क्वालिटी बता रही है किस वर्ड से येलो से सो वॉट इज हेयर वॉट इज येलो इट शुड बी एन एडजेक्टिव वाई बिकॉज इट इज अ क्वालिटी ऑफ हर हेयर ओके सो इट शुड बी एन एडजेक्टिव एंड अ फेस वॉज येलो बिकॉज शी हैड बीन बॉन्ड ना फ्रेंड्स बिकॉज क्या कर रहा है इट इज लिंकिंग द बिफोर द फर्स्ट क्लॉज एंड द सेकेंड क्लॉज शी हैड बीन सो इट एक्ट एज अट वॉट वॉट इट विल बी इट विल बी अ कंजंक्शन ओके नेक्स्ट शी हैड बीन बॉर्न इन इंडिया नो फ्रेंड इन इस इज अ प्रपोजिशन वाई बिकॉज इट शोज द लिंक बिटवीन द प्रॉपर नाउन एज एज वी टोल्ड यू नाउन एंड वर्ड बॉर्न 
so it is showing link between no pronoun or noun and another word and it is before the noun so it should be a preposition so my 13th word will be it is a preposition um, born in india and had always been ill in one way or another now friends ye jo or word hai this is your assignment you have to tell me what does this word as a part of speech represent okay so assignment a this you have to be done you will do tell me its answer in the comment section so chaliye aage badhte hain now friends we will see some mcqs this will be very quick and easy one so let's move ahead choose the correct part of speech for the underlined word now friends hum statements dekhenge aur unke under jo underlined uh, जो अंडरलाइन या फिर जो बोल्ड वर्ड है आई एम सॉरी दिस शुड बी बोल्ड जो बोल्ड वर्ड है हमें बताना है वो किस पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच को रिप्रेजेंट कर रहा है ओके लेट स्टार्ट आई ऑलवेज गो टू द पार्क ऑन द वीकेंड्स ना फ्रेंड्स पार्क इज द नेम ऑफ अ प्लेस सो वॉट इट शुड बी इट शुड बी आई होप यू गेट इट इट शुड बी अ नाउन आंसर इज ए नाउन लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड ऑन कोल्ड डेज आई लव टू हैव अ कप ऑफ हॉट कॉफी now cold should be uh, it is describing the quality of the day okay so uh, days are cold that means cold is the uh, adjective because it is telling the quality okay so my answer should be adjective moving forward how many hot dogs did your friend eat yesterday now friends eat kya ho raha hai yahan pe kuch uh, kaam ho raha hai create uh, kriya ho rahi hai that is some action is getting performed so this should be a verb okay so my answer should be a verb very easy i hope all of you are getting it correct and yes don't forget to pause the video and try it by yourself and then move forward moving forward usain bolt finished the race very quickly ha huh, this is an interesting one so friends uh, here uh, the uh, person usain bolt is a noun and he has finished the race so he is doing some work and how has that work been done that work or action has been done very quickly so the word quickly represent uh, the uh, represents the uh, quality of an action yani ki wo ek verb ko describe kar raha hai so verb ko jo describe karta hai wo kya hota hai wo hota hai adverb so my answer is c adverb adverb chaliye aage badhte hain her brother flies to many countries in the world because of his job okay so friends brother jo hai it represent the name of a relative a person so that should be noun very easy chaliye aage badhte hain my sister is very smart okay now friends this word smart it describes whom it is describing sister and sister is a noun so noun ko jo describe karte hain the word which describe a noun are called adjectives hence smart is an adjective moving forward december is my favorite month of the year okay now friends um, this word favorite it is representing the quality of the month okay hence this should be an adjective okay astha can speak marathi very well because she lived in mumbai for years so a person astha she is the noun and she can speak so that's an action uh, marathi very well now how is that action being performed very well nicely so action ko describe karne wale words kya hote hain adverb the words that describe an action are adverbs so my answer is adverb let's move forward i don't think the test was difficult in fact it was quite easy so friends uh, yahan par uh, jo hai test ki uh, quality batayi ja rahi hai that is something that is it it represent the test was quite easy so it is a noun uh, or pronoun i'm sorry and pronoun ki quality kon batate hain uh, adjectives the word easy uh, is telling the uh, quality of pronoun and hence it is an adjective moving forward dinosaurs lived millions of years ago Now friends years represent some countable uh, uh, countable thing that is you can count the years and hence it should be a noun it is not an adjective nor a adverb nor a verb it is an noun only moving forward i usually study in the library for an hour after the class so friends here some work is getting done that is studying is an action and how is that work is done it is done on a regular basis hence usually is nothing but a adverb okay i hope it is clear
now friends this is your assignment question assignment number b you have to tell me uh, slowly and which is that uh, which which part of speech does slowly represent okay so tell me in the comment section चलिए आगे बढ़ते हैं ओके नाउ फ्रेंड्स दिस पार्ट विल बी आई गेस द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट वन सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन व्हाट वी हैव टू डू इज वी विल बी गिवन अ वर्ड एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट इट्स यूजेज एंड द फंक्शन इन द सेंटेंस व्हाट फंक्शन इज दैट वर्ड परफॉर्मिंग सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल राइट इट इज परफॉर्मिंग फोर फंक्शन ऑफ वर्ब एडजेक्टिव नाउन एंड एड वर्ब एंड वी हैव टू मैच द कॉलम विथ द फर्स्ट कॉलम एंड द second column of the usage and its function so uh, this i will say is one of the difficult most difficult part of the paper in any paper so what i'll suggest is you will have of course you will have options so try the option elimination technique okay so what you will do is option elimination most of the time you will be able to eliminate uh, some of the options and uh, even though you don't know all the functions you might be able to reach the correct answer uh, correct option by elimination so let's start uh, this first word is right so what we'll do here is we don't have options so we'll just move simply uh, sentence by sentence so the first sentence is he is the right man for the position so friends here right is describing the quality of this man so man is a noun and right is describing its quality so it should be adjective so one uh, i'm sorry uh, two should be linked with a i hope it is clear now next sentence workers rights are practically non existent in many clothing factories here so friends yahan par jo rights hain ye darshate hain aapke hak ko yani ke rights are telling something uh, your legal powers or legal privileges it is the name for your legal powers so it should be a noun so third third has to be linked with b okay and uh, that is noun is to be linked with b now c she stood right in my way now friends here right is uh, telling the quality of the uh, verb stood that is stood is the second form of the verb here and how is she standing uh, she stood right in my way so it must be a adverb fourth should be linked to c next uh, this is a fault that will right itself now friends here right itself ka meaning ho gaya ये खुद को करेक्ट करेगा यानी कि खुद कुछ एक्शन परफॉर्म करेगा सो राइट इज एन एक्शन हियर दैट इज इट इज अ वर्ब हियर सो वन इज टू गेट लिंक्ड विथ डी आई होप दिस हैड मेड सेंस टू यू इन द फॉलोइंग मैनर वी आर गोइंग टू डू द कमिंग क्वेश्चन ओके सो आई अगेन रिक्वेस्ट यू गाइज टू प्लीज पॉज द वीडियो ट्राई इट बाई योर सेल्फ एंड देन रिज्यूम द वीडियो ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट इट सो द फर्स्ट सेंटेंस इज हैव यू क्लोज द back door so friends door is the name of the thing so it is a noun and uh, the word back is describing the door so noun ko jo describe karte hain that are called adjectives so back is an adjective because it is describing the noun door so uh, two should be linked with a okay uh, let's see the second one i have a pain in the back now friends here the back is the name of the body part hence uh, na uh, name is a noun so my third should be linked with b i hope it is clear i will come back in 5 minutes okay now friends here there is a action that is come is a verb and verb is getting described by the word back so this word back is describing an action it must be describing a verb so it is a adverb so fourth it will get linked with c okay i hope it is clear friends now the last sentence he backed his car through the gate friends here what the person is doing he is backing the car that means he is taking the car backward so it is an action clearly it is an action i hope it is very clear so one is to be getting linked with d i hope it is clear let's move forward now first sent uh, now what we have to do is for better next word is better okay you should respect your betters so here friends these are uh, betters here the word betters means the person who are better than us or who are better than that uh, person you okay so here the word betters represent noun okay because uh, it is talking about some persons okay so here third should get linked with a now the machine works better if you change the oil regularly 
so friends here the word better is describing this action works so uh, what is the verb works so when uh, something is better the work will get done in a better way so better is describing this action hence it should be an adverb so fourth will get linked with b next is the watch is better than that here the watch is being compared to another one and on what basis on the quality that is better here better represents the quality hence it should be uh, an adjective two has to be linked with c uh, let's see the next one living conditions have bettered a great deal friends here we are talking about the living conditions or conditions kaisi ho gayi hai better ho gayi hai achhi ho gayi hai that means it is showing an action they have been improved so it's an action hence uh, what it will be it will be a verb so one is to be getting linked with d okay i hope this was clear chaliye hum aage badhte hain now we will see for the word round and what are the functions it is uh, performing in the various sentences the so first sentence is the earth is round so friends here the earth is our noun and it is being described by the word round hence this should be an adjective so two should be linked with a next we won the first round of the tennis cup here the first round is an event okay so here an event as i told you even the name of a event is a noun so hence here b um, in the option b round represents an uh, noun okay so third has to be getting linked with b third uh, c c uh, sentence will you come round to our house this evening now friends what is happening here is कम जो है एक वर्ब है एंड वर्ब को कौन डिस्क्राइब कर रहा है दिस वर्ड राउंड और वर्ब को जो डिस्क्राइब करते हैं वो होते हैं एड वर्ब हैंस राउंड इज डिस्क्राइबिंग कम एंड कम इज अ वर्ब हैंस राउंड इज अ एड वर्ब सो फोर्थ इज टू गेट लिंक्ड विथ सी द लास्ट वन द चाइल्ड आईज राउंडेड विथ एक्साइटमेंट फ्रेंड्स आईज ने क्या एक्शन परफॉर्म किया आईज अ परफॉर्म्ड एन एक्शन ऑफ राउंडिंग दे राउंडेड हैंस दिस शुड बी अ वर्ब first uh, first should be linked with d let's move forward now next is word all now we'll see for all we were offered an all in package holiday now friends here the word all in in uh, this all in shows the quality of the package holiday package hence it is showing the um, uh, as an uh, quality of this noun package holiday hence it should be an adjective so two should be linked with a they forgot all about everything else now friends forgot is an action ye verb hai and verb all jo hai wo har cheez bhul gaye that is all is describing the action of forgetting hence all should be an adverb one has to be linked with b next all helped him pay his debt now friend um, sab ne usko debt pay karne mein help ki all but sab ka naam to nahi bataya so all represent a group of people but their no name is not explicitly given hence it is a pronoun so four has to get linked with c next uh, ravi lost his all in share market now friends here all kya represent kar raha hai here all represent all the things that he had all the money he had so this represents a noun hence three should be linked with d because all uh, is all the possessions that he had all the things he had and things represent nouns okay so third is d moving forward now the word that we'll see is still the water appeared still from the distance from a distance so friends here the word uh, still represents an adjective because it is describing water which acts as a noun here so water appeared still that means it's uh, it is uh, calm or shant pani tha wahan pe so it is an adjective so two is linked to a moving forward he is still working so friends here still acts as a adverb why because the word still is describing the continuous action of working working is a verb and it is being described by still so still is a adverb fourth is to be linked with b her quiet words still the animal so friends here the meaning of still is to uh, calm or to soothe yahan par still kya kaam kar raha hai ke um, us janwar ko usne shant kar diya wo kuch pareshan tha par uske words ne usko shant kar diya that means an action is getting performed so here 
one is to be linked with C because still acts as an verb here. Next, looking at the still, his father remembered his childhood. My friend, यहाँ पर still का meaning है a photograph, a photo. So here, photo is a thing, and of course, it should be a noun. So three is to get linked with D. Moving forward, next word that we'll see is well, W E W L, and uh, let's see the first sentence. Middle East has huge number of oil wells. So friends, यहाँ पर oil well जो है वो कुएं कुआं होता है उसको describe कर रहा है. So it is a name of a thing or name of a place or a name of a thing, I guess. Okay, so it is a well and uh, it should be a noun. So third is to be linked with a. And next, he plays the piano very well for someone of his age. Now friends, यहाँ पर जो action है वो है play करना and action को कौन describe कर रहा है well words so plays uh, how he plays he plays well so b is a adverb so fourth is to be linked with b next a sense of hurt and outrage welled up inside him friends uh, here welling up is a action because wo hurt gussa or outrage uske andar bad raha hai that is it is welling up it is increasing so it is a verb so first is c next uh, i am not well today Now, friends, here the word "well" is representing the person, describing the person's condition. Hence, it should be an adjective. So, two has to get linked with D. Okay, so D is with two. Moving forward. Okay, now, friends, uh, this is the last question, and this I am giving you as an assignment. I am sure you guys will do it and tell me the answer. Uh, you will tell me the answers in the comment section. then i'll tell you what is the correct answer okay the form in which you will tell me the answers is the same which i'm uh, printing the answers like 1a 2b like that okay so i hope you will answer it and then i'll tell you the questions and tell you the answers so friends we have reached to an end to this session uh, if you have liked the efforts and if the video is helping you please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to novation for more awesome content uh, i wish you all the very best bye bye